Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So my name is Simon and today we are going to learn how to search a orange book. So let's start the video. So before directly going to the orange book database, let's quickly recap the learning from our last video. So in the orange book, there are mainly five things that you can learn or you can search for it. For example, the prescription drugs. So whatever the prescription drugs are there, which includes both NDA and ANDA, you can get all the information from orange book followed by the OTC that means whatever the drugs that don't require any prescription and you can get from the counter that you can get all the information from here followed by the discontinued drugs then the patent information and the exclusivity information so these five information you can get from an orange book now let's see how to search an orange book okay so once you come to the google you have to search for orange book if okay so there are many web uh, pages link you can see on the screen the link that you have to click that is the approved drug product so therapeutic equivalence okay because this is the link that will directly take you to the orange book uh, database home page now this is the home page of orange book database uh, you can also see from the name right so uh, th there are many web, uh, hyperlinks you can see on the screen let me take you through one by one okay so uh, there is this link you can see search the orange book database so this is the link that we have to click to search the orange book uh, but apart from this there are also many other link you can see uh, on this screen for example orange book publication and supplements there are the orange book edition you can uh, find it from this link uh, the orange book preface that means the historical what is the history of orange book you can get if you click here followed by the supplement of this uh, month of September there are a sub, uh, couple of appendix which are also given uh, now this is the patent uh, and exclusivity information from there you can find many patent code and uh, exclusivity code now what are these codes uh, we'll uh, get to know once I uh, show you how to search the orange book from there you can get those codes okay and there are many other resources you can find for example the question and answer uh, in the evolution of therapeutic equivalence like many other things are there so we'll click here now okay. now this is the actual uh, home page of uh, the orange book database so uh, you can see there are two options which are given here so the first one is the uh, find approved drug products and the second one is this find patent information so from this list you can uh, find the um, uh, you can search the drugs by their proprietary name by the applicant name by their doses form by the route of administration and from here you can search the patent and you can get the all the patent details okay so we'll go one by one so first we'll search by the proprietary name so proprietary name is nothing but the brand name of any drug so we'll search a basic very basic name that is a uh, pantoprazole it is very commonly used in uh, almost all the households so we'll search from that you can search any other drugs also no issue okay so now uh, uh, this is the search result on the left corner of the screen you can see there are three options one is rx one is otc and another one is the uh, discontinued uh, let me get the pen here okay. okay so one is rx then otc and then discontinued so rx means the prescription drugs otc drug and discontinued drug so once you click here you get all the information here and if you uncheck any of those those information will get removed from the uh, below table okay now in this table you can see first column that is marketing status so from here you can get the information which is otc which is prescription drugs and which is discontinued drug now coming second to that that is active ingredient so from here you can get the drug substance information what are the uh, for example i have searched for pantoprazole so you can get all the information like pantoprazole sodium so these are the uh, pantoprazole uh, it has given as a salt form so pantoprazole sodium it has given me all the results right followed by that there is a name called property name that is a brand name of the drug now there is one thing that you have to note that uh, not all the drug products have a brand name 
for example this here this is having a brand name so pantoprazole sodium is the active ingredient or the drug substance and the protonics is the brand name but in case there is no brand name or there is no property name the drug substance name will be there in the property name for example you can see it here pantoprazole sodium pantoprazole sodium so both are same so in case there is a brand name the brand name will be written in the property name and in case there is no brand name both the name will be same for example the active ingredient as well as the property name right after that uh, there is this application number so from there you can get all the application number the nd application number or nd application number now after that there is a doses form so in which doses form it is there is it a suspension injectables or tablet all the kind of information you can get in this row right followed by the route of administration then strength now in this uh, there is one interesting thing that uh, you can see uh, basically the strength is whatever the amount of active ingredient is there it will be written in the strength but sometimes you can get as equivalent for example it is written here so the thing is if the uh, drug product it is given as a salt form but the active ingredient is different it is not it is without the salt uh, form then equivalent to 40 mg that means pantoprazole sodium is not 40 mg the pantoprazole is 40 mg that is why it is written equivalence to 40 mg right so it will be it will remove the salt form from it now coming to the te code or uh, te code uh, it is also known as the therapeutic equivalence code now there are two te codes okay one is code one is code a and there is code b so code A is basically the drug which are therapeutic equivalence uh, to any of the pharmaceutical uh, drug product and B is which are not therapeutic equivalence. So this code uh, from there you can you can identify which are the therapeutic equivalent and which are not the therapeutic equivalents, right? And now in this table you can basically see all the information regarding the uh, T codes. For example, this is the A code the drug products which are considered to be therapeutically equivalent to other uh, products so a code is basically for all the therapeutical equivalence drug product so in the orange book mainly you will find the a codes there are very rare scenarios where, when you can get the b codes now these are the all the description of the a codes for example at for tropical products a ap is for injectables aqueous product ao for injectables oil solution right so similarly there as all the information is given uh, and this is the for the all the B code information. So B code is basically for the drug products which FDA at the time of uh, listing um, um, they consider they are not therapeutic equivalent. They are not therapeutic equivalent. Okay. So these are all the B codes that you can get it from here. Now coming to the RLD and RS information, you can find it from here. Now what is RLD and RS? So in simple terms, RND and R is nothing but whenever you are going to submit an AND application, uh, AND application, so you have to show there is a reference drug because this is nothing but a copyright FDA. Basically, in FDA's language, they call it a copy of a approved drug. So there has to be some reference drug uh, which you are copying for this AND submission. So. Uh, in RLD and RS nothing but they are the reference drug products for your AND application. Now there is a difference between RLD and RS. There are, that is why there are two different columns for that. RLD and RS. Now what are those differences that I am going to cover in my next video in detail. I cannot cover in this otherwise it will be a very long video. So for the time being uh, let us understand in a very simple language that whenever you are going to submit an ANDA you have to reference one of the approved drug and that is RLD and RS that information from you can get from this column and finally you can get the applicant uh, holder information from here, like who, who are the applicant for this like agenda pharma with uh, with pharmaceuticals like this you can get many informations here so let us click uh, one of those link and see what else is there inside that okay let me get out of here <clears throat> so we'll click here because this is the rld and rs information uh, uh, once i click here it will take me to the detailed page of that particular drug product now you can get many informations here in this page which are already uh, there in the table apart from one information which is extra in this table and let me show you that information. 
yeah, that is the patent and exclusive information okay so this information uh, is not there in the last page so we'll look into this what is exactly uh, they are uh, inside that uh, link so let's click that link so once you click that uh, link you will get uh, the patent and exclusivity information from uh, that particular drug product okay so we'll look one by one so in 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 the first uh, column the product number the serial number many you can get the patent number the second one is the patent number so what is the patent number you can get it from here now the patent expiry dates uh, followed by whether is this patent is for uh, your uh, drug substance on the drug product it is for the drug substance now this is for the drug product um, this is the patent use code now these are mostly uh, there is a whole list of database you can see here uh, all patent use code and all exclusive code so if you click that link you will get all these codes and what is the meaning for that code so once you click that link it will show for which uh, uh for which particular thing the patent is given uh the list information now if it get delisted you will get all the information here and from the submission date you can get the submission details okay now coming to the exclusivity data you can from where you can get the all the exclusivity data right now for this product there is no exclusivity now uh you might be confused what is the difference between patent and exclusivity so there is also one video is coming in this channel regarding the patent and exclusivity uh, there is a difference between the patent and exclusivity and that is what they are given in a different tables okay that i'll going i'm going to cover in a complete uh, set of video so now let's uh, look at the codes once patent code okay. so if you click here uh, now this is all the codes okay so for which kind of code uh, what are the indication or what is the patent given you can get all the information here if you go back now this is the ex exclusivity codes right now for this product there is no exclusivity code but um, uh, if there is a code you can get all the information here for which code uh, what kind of exclusivity is given okay now let's look at the second point that is a search by applicant okay so from this option you can search the drug products by any company name for example if i search by sandoz so basically i'm not promoting any company here this is just for the education purpose okay so if i search by sandoz uh, here you can get all the list of drugs which are basically approved by sandoz uh, let me take the pin okay so you can see here from the application holder tab all the information that you can get here that is basically for this and this and here you can get the information over the marketing status active ingredient all the same like that i have already shown you property name application number doses form route strain t codes rld rs only the difference is here the application holder you can get they are all belongs to the sandals because we have searched it in terms of the applicant right so let's go back similarly you can search it by doses form you, you, you can search it by tablet or suspension emulsion or any other form that you want uh, in this option you can search by root route of administration uh, from the patent option you can search it by patent numbers if you have any patent number you can keep uh, put it here and you can search and uh, there is a two links given for all the newly added patent and the delisted patent if you click here okay so these are all the patents which are uh, uh, just newly added okay you can see the submission date these are all 2023 patents okay and if i go back now this is the list for delisted patents so these are the patents which are already uh, expired and they are delisted so one thing to keep in mind that if there is any patent which are delisted or expired that will be automatically removed from the orange book 
so in the orange book there will not be any patent which is expired and you can still see no it, it, it won't happen if it is expired it will automatically removed from the orange book right so this is all about the presentation on how to search the orange book in the next video i'll cover the rld and rs in detail so uh, many people they get confused between the rs and RA, rld and rs so uh, that is why that i'm going to cover that topic and after that one by one i'll cover the other topics okay uh, now if you have uh, learned anything new from this video my request is to please subscribe this channel and hit the bell button because i keep posting this kind of videos see you on the next one take care of yourself